In this video, I'll show you how to download the Windows 1124H2 ISO file, even after version 25H2 is released. Usually, when a new Windows version comes out, Microsoft updates their tools like the Installation Assistant, Media Creation Tool, and the Direct ISO Download option to the latest version. This means you can't use these official tools to go back to an older version. However, sometimes you still need to download the Windows 1124H2 ISO file for a fresh installation. In this video, I will show you two ways to do this. The first method uses the UUP Dump website. Click on the Windows 11 menu and choose version 24H2 or any older version you need. Select the link to download the latest build. Please choose carefully based on your computer's architecture. First, select your preferred installation language and click the Next button. Now, choose the Windows 11 24H2 editions you want in your ISO file. By default, Home and Pro editions are already chosen. If you need other editions listed on the right, you need to select the required editions on the left. The option to download and convert to ISO is selected by default. If you want to include extra editions, let's choose this option. This option will add Windows updates to your final ISO file. I will uncheck it to speed up the download. You can install the updates on Windows later. Finally, click the Create Download Package button to download a zip file. Extract the downloaded zip file into a folder. Run the batch file named Download Windows as an administrator. Type R and press Enter to proceed. This process may take several minutes to download and create the ISO file, so please be patient. Once it's finished, the final ISO file will be created in the same folder as the batch script. If you included updates in the ISO file, the final image size will be around 10 gigabytes. For example, I will now mount the ISO file and check the additions included using PowerShell. As you can see, only the Home and Pro Edition are available for installation. Once done, we can use Rufus to create an bootable USB drive from the downloaded ISO, as usual. and booting from the newly created bootable USB drive. Alternatively, if you have an MSDN subscription, you can download the source files for most Microsoft products from the Visual Studio website. From here, you can download all versions of Windows 11. Additionally, you can also download ISOs for older products that are no longer supported, like Windows 7 or Windows XP. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next videos.